Hello, class. Welcome to automotive electrical inspection and maintenance class. The content of this lesson is the starting system of cars. Starting involves leveraging force, converting energy, and achieving breakthroughs. It sets the motion, brings changes, advances step by step, and brings in the cycle of renewal. It's the pursuit of the path to learning. The design of professional value advantages, and adaptation to changes, the process of an automobile engine turning from a stationary state to a running state, is called starting. The engine's initiation needs the assistance of an external force, and the starter serves as the component that facilitates this transition. In this section, we will focus on understanding. The starting system's role and components, under the control of the ignition switch and starting relay, the starter converts the electrical energy from the battery into the mechanical energy. It drives the flywheel ring gear, causing the engine crankshaft to rotate, and thus completing the engine startup. The automobile starting system mainly consists of the battery and control circuit. The control circuit includes the ignition switch, starter relay, and the starter. The ignition switch is used for driver to start the engine. The starter relay controls the operation of the starter. The starter motor generates torque, driving the engine flywheel to start the engine. After starting, the one-way engagement device of the starter is utilized. To protect the starter, preventing the engine from reversing the starter, and causing the starter to overspeed, which could lead to transmission failure accidents. The control circuit is used to control the operation of the starter. There are two common forms of the starting circuit. One does not have a starting relay, and is composed of the battery. Starter, an ignition switch. During the start, the ignition switch is turned to the ST position, connecting the electromagnetic switch of the starter. The electromagnetic switch links the positive pole of the battery to the motor in the starter, causing the starter to rotate, and thus initiating the engine's rotation. For starting. The other form involves a starting relay composed of the battery, starter, starting relay, and ignition switch. When the ignition switch is turned to the ST position, the starting relay coil is energized, closing the contacts of the starting relay and connecting the starter motor's electromagnetic switch. The electromagnetic switch connects the positive terminal. Of the battery to the motor, in the starter, causing the starter motor to turn, consequently initiating the rotation of the engine for starting. The fundamental requirements for the starting system: the power of the starter motor should match the power required for starting the engine, to ensure that the electromagnetic torque generated by the starter motor is greater than the starting torque of the engine. This will drive the engine to operate at a speed higher than the minimum starting speed. The capacity of the battery must match the power of the starter motor to ensure it provides a sufficiently large starting current and the necessary duration. The connections in the starting circuit must be reliable. The wire resistance and contact resistance in the starting circuit. Should be as small as possible. Therefore, the wire cross section of the main starting circuit is much larger than ordinary wires, and the connections must be very solid and reliable. After the engine starts, the small gear of the starter automatically disengages from the engine flywheel to prevent the engine from driving the starter. The starter should be compact. Lightweight and reliable starters can be classified into different types. 
based on their various forms. XXX, based on the way the magnetic field in the DC motor is generated. Starters are classified into permanent magnet starters and electromagnetic starters, based on the presence of a reduction mechanism in the transmission. They are classified into reduction starters and non-reduction starters. Starters with a gear reducer between the electric shaft of the starter and the driving gear are called reduction starters. Based on the engagement mode of the driving gear, they are classified into inertia engagement, amateur movement engagement, gear movement engagement. And forced engagement starters. The inertia engagement type relies on the inertia force generated by the rotation of the gear to produce axle movement and engage with the flywheel ring gear. The inertia engagement is a simple but less reliable method in operation, and is rarely used nowadays. The amateur movement type relies on the electric magnetic force generated by the magnet to attract the amateur to move axially and drive the driving gear fixed on the amateur shaft to engage with the flywheel ring gear. The electric amateur movement type starter motor has a complex structure and is mainly used for the diesel vehicles. The gear moving type relies on the electric magnetic switch to drive the driving gear to mesh with the flywheel ring gear. This type of structure with gear movement is relatively complex and is generally used for high power starters. The forced engagement relies on electric magnetic force to achieve axle movement. By plugging or directly pushing the driving gear, engaging with the flywheel rear gear, forced engagement type is reliable in operation, and has a simple structure. Therefore, it is widely used. Types of cranes, according to national standards, it includes product code, voltage level code, power level code, design serial number. And variant number, the product codes for starters are three kinds: QD, QDJ, and QDY. The product codes QD represent starters, QDJ represent reduction starters, and QDY represent permanent magnet starters. The voltage level code is represented by a single Arabic numeral. One, two, and six represent twelve voltages, twenty-four volts and six volts respectively. The power rating code is represented by a single Arabic numeral, and its meaning can be found in this form, where code one represents one kilowatt, code two represents one to two kilowatts, and so on. Design numeral is represented by the number of times the product is designed, and variant code is represented by capital letters, A, B, in sequential order. For example, QD one two four represents a rated voltage of twelve watts, and the power is from one to two kilowatts. The fourth design. This concludes. All the content of this lesson. Thank you for watching.